She's definitely low. We have two spares. Alright, so we're gonna pick up a radiator now and uh, try to get this thing fixed. Getting a little closer. Go from underneath and just get it. I could use that pry bar to pry it. Yeah, yeah. The fan out a little bit. Alright, so we're out of the zone. We got the new radiator. We're trying to get the old one out. Everything's crunched in quite a bit because it's basically bowed in the middle. So there's these ears I'll show you on the new radiator. One second here. These ears down here aren't letting it go past the charge pipe. So Brent went in and grabbed a saw, a little hand saw. And he's just cutting away, trying to cut that ear off real quick. All right, so the rear is almost out. And there it is. And there's our problems. There is our issues that we couldn't fill with pepper. You can see the inner cooler right down here. Oh yeah. It just kind of folded the core. Yep. So I think we probably need to cut the ears off the new radiator. Yeah, we have to. It's not going in without us doing the modification. Should be a little easier though right now. Of the yeah. yeah. So we'll get those ears cut off and then uh, get it put back in. Then hopefully get on our way. be a little easier though than on my back. We're using the advanced auto parts hacksaw special. Probably just go on this side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> not the first time. No, probably not the last. They could start carrying cordless sawzalls at advanced auto parts that would be great. Or Advanced or opposite. Any of them. The advanced auto zone. Is there a good sign? I think we can return it. Exchange. Yeah, the exchange. You guys' sauce sucks. It just worked down below like. We haven't even used it for an hour. <laughs> One time use. I think this is bent. Son of a bitch, dude. So we got the ears cut off. And uh, we're going to try to throw this thing in. Maybe, huh? Yeah. Oh, you want to try and get that one hose on real quick? Yeah, I can get that hose on. Just want to make sure we can get it pulled away from the fan blade enough, every aspects. Yeah, it's on, once we get that power steering cooler on there and stuff, we can... Zip tie or strap or... Yeah. <laughs> Nice thing is we didn't have to mess with trans cooler lines, I'll tell you that. Yeah. There's always a silver line in something. Just gotta find it. <laughs> Alright, now we just gotta tie it away from the fan. 
the put water in it. Starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. The bottom's the closest. Yep. Let's tie that up and then uh, put water in it. And in theory, we can hit the road, Jack. In theory. Oh, did we put the plug in? It has it in. Was it tight? I didn't check if it's tight. It's that side. It's tight. This feels good. It's not pouring all over the ground right away. Yeah. Fired up, so we're gonna clean up all our stuff, get all the stuff packed. We gotta go deal with this tire now, and then uh, get on our way. That thing is definitely looking a little low. Plaza Tire Service, the quick change artist. So they gave us a hand. We're getting it put back together and on the road. Oh, thank goodness. There's a nail in it. Oh, yeah. There's the nail. Hard yeah. Told you it was that hotel parking lot. All right, so we got the spare on. Brent's locking the tire back down in the spare hole. We found the nail in it, so. We can get that dealt with while we're in Florida. We still got one more spare, so we're all right. Think the truck's good. You know, we made it a couple miles down the road. It's not getting warm or anything. Nothing's hitting anymore. So now we can hit the road and try and get to Tom's and take a shower and get some of this antifreeze off of us. Tell us how you really feel, Jamie. I just want a new truck. <laughs> with the ranch hand bumper. Ranch hand bumper. I don't like the look of them. I really don't. Cause I'm not a ranch guy, you know, no offense, but I really think I need a ranch hand with how much I drive across this country. Cause you know, there was that, this last trip down here, I counted there was 22 deer dead on the side of the road and it was just my time. You know, it's bound to happen eventually. And darn it, if it had to happen the time we were really on a roll. Yeah, we were making good time. We were just talking about it, literally yeah. in the truck. Yeah, yeah we're gonna be to Tom's at a decent time. A day early than we normally are. Yeah, we were all pumped. We were all jazzed up. So, cross your fingers that we make it down the road a little farther. So last night we had to backtrack a little bit. What had happened just a little bit after this bridge? I think so. No, it did. Yeah. yeah. This is the stretch we were sitting in last night. This yeah, is another there's day. That sign. Yep. So Bambi will be in the middle. Bambi will be here. right over here, yeah. Should be in this grass area, right? Oh, I'll pass this. Right there. There it is, yep. So this is where. Oh, no. Oh, right there, right there. Yep, there it is. So that's where we hit, and then we slid over to a stop over here. Oh, you can see our now. I thought that was our trail. It does kind of look like us right through here, right? Yeah. Like right here? Oh, there was our puddle. Our puddle was right back there. Well, now we're headed the right direction, so. Yep. And there's our rest stop that we pulled the motor out. <laughs> yep. really felt like we were nowhere. It's cool there was a town just yeah, pretty yeah. actually closer than we thought. Just had yeah. to backtrack, but oh well. It's 
an adventure. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Tree. Well guys, we made it to Tom's, <laughs> and uh, laugh, but Milo had headlights for us, so uh, um, this adventure just keeps continuing. What do you think, dog? I wouldn't believe it, unless I would seen it. <laughs> yeah. When Anthony hit his deer with the element, Anthony's it your son. The frame. Yeah. And I didn't believe him. I thought he was lying until I pulled it apart, and there was hair and meat everywhere. Yeah, yeah. We got the hair in the corners here. Yeah, there's still some right there in the fog, right? Yeah. But I mean, we're riding, bro. We're riding. I mean, it's it didn't... touched it a couple times. The bent. See the center bent. It was like that. It's been like that. No, I probably hit it when it pushed it the first no, time. No, we had to put a new. One. No, this is a new one. Yeah. No way. Yeah. yeah, we went. That's why we didn't make it last night. Otherwise, we'd have just kept trucking. Yeah, we had to put a new radiator. Oh my we god. Had we had to. We had to saw the sides to make it fit because the, the whole thing's V'd, you know. We had to cut the ears because everything's all V'd in. This bar. See the intercooler folded over that bar? Yeah. And yeah. that bar all crushed? Oh, yeah. Shoot, you got oh, yeah. But it's yeah. Good. I mean, it, it makes it, half the boost. I mean, the boost. we're Literally cruising. The tranny cooler. We were doing 90. Yeah, right? the tranny cooler was key, man. We didn't get the tranny cooler. Tranny cooler, power steering hey, cooler. Dude, it got the AC, though. Here's yeah. it. We're doing 90 still. Kilometers, yeah. So, this is my first time at Tom's shop. Got his new Banshee here. Milo's little 900 horse Civic. There's a video. We have on the channel with that, their dyno set up. This lift was was one of my lifts I just had laying around and I was like, eh, need Tom needs a lift. So I lent it to him, borrowed it, use it forever, whatever you want to call it. And then they got their dyno. This is awesome. Did you see my little motorcycle? Which one, the one, the green one right there? You got another little one? This is the one I'm putting the Banshee motor in. You're gonna put a banshee motor in yeah, that. This engine. You're gonna put this. You got a death wish. But that's why I bought it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're crazy. Look at I just got new stuff for it. Bought a one piece body. Oh, that's a pretty cool little body, though. Right? A little body for it. You gonna have some fun. This is what happens when you retire, everybody. You just build all this wild little stuff. You just get bored, man. All right, let's see it. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I still ain't gonna ride it with no hundred horsepower Banshee motor in it. Oh, this this thing is like you. it's methanol, fire breathing, wild nonsense. Oh, it's good right now too. I just bought slicks for it today. Yeah, like you need those. I did. I could go, go. <laughs> You're crazy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you ain't the one gonna ride it. No. <laughs> Jamie will ride it. I'd ride it. I love some quads, but it's crazy. Yeah, I'm glad you guys came out, man. Yeah. It's been a mess. I got so much stuff to do. Never ends. It never does.
Neither do I. Like, that's the same thing I keep saying. I don't like the way they look, but I don't like the way this looks either. Yeah. <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with that? I'd I'll rather tell them have Sean, have Sean build a pre-runner style bumper. Yeah, we need something. With some big old light we need a We need an animal deflector. Yeah, it just well, exploded. Oh, you just about had it too. Don't there it is. Wow, that's almost normal. <laughs> oh, it's got here. Hold on, hold on. We just got a hammer. Can I hammer? Yeah. Yeah, something to bend that side with. Uh, or a pry bar or a uh, crescent wrench. We got a pry bar. Hammer. I think this is yours. That is mine. I found my hammer, dog. It's funny. I was just looking for that thing. That's no, awesome. Can, you want to use the one then? Not yeah, we'll one. just use the one. Save it both, though. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, you I got new bolts anyway. I've got right? bolts in the. Almost Ooh. normal. Dang. Might as well make it that looks episode. sharp, man. Dude, just, just change the bolt, man. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. He's gonna be all bright on this side. <laughs> he can see good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's debatable right now. <laughs> we did hit a deer. Dude, I didn't see it. No, I didn't either. Anthony I just shut, I put the truck in neutral and it was swaying and it straightened up and I just shut it off and we coasted over to the stop because I didn't know like what was messed up. Yeah. I didn't even know what we hit. Was, like, crazy. was there a couch in the road? Was there, you know? It was crazy because Anthony said the same thing. It just jumped. Like, it, like it, instead of walking, we didn't even it, like, see. Jumped. We didn't even see it. I'm just stoked to finally see your shot, dude. Yeah, me and my little car. Oh, we're all pulling up. It is. So, Tom did go just buy this school bus or wine bus or whatever. Clean, getting cleaned up. I just got it back in the deal. Ooh, what'd they say was wrong? Uh, there was the uh, fuel and the oil, and they gave they said that the guy when he rebuilt it, he didn't put these in there, so he they charged me these stupid little you might know about this, I don't know these. These are injector things, he says they're only good oh, for one use, yeah, yeah, yep. One and the use. guy didn't change them, wow, so he thinks this is what happened. You know, the most expensive two little pieces I've ever in my life it happens, but it's sweet. So Tom was talking about converting this into either an RV type of thing just, or just, um, just or a, slinging it. One of the two, huh? I think I'm just gonna put a bed, uh, toilet, and shower, and just a little sink, and for everybody to hang out. Yeah. That's that's it. I just want it for everybody to hang out in. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I think I'll get a trailer, like a 34 foot trailer, that same color, and just tow it. Yeah, this is awesome. It'll go. It won't go fast. It's beautiful. It'll it's cool. I like the floors. Thank you, sir. So Tom and I are definitely into BMX, and this is one of the his little creations. This thing, I remember riding it, left California. Hand, left hand drive. Left hand drive. See how the sprockets on this side? It's wild. When I was younger, I used to grind on this side, and I used to break the chain. So they converted it. So it was pretty cool. That is cool. We'll take this one now. Looking one good. Out. You need me to order parts or anything? You good? Oh uh, no. Um, insurance will deal with it. All right, Tom, we're out of here. See you later. Thanks for the headlight, guys. <laughs> yeah. And thanks, Milo. Welcome. Awesome. All right, man. We're gonna Way cool. Get these babies mounted, and I'll see you guys out there. All right. Sounds good. Um, Can't wait to see the Banshee on slicks. That'll be sick. All right, so back on the road we go.
What's up, dude? Oh, no. Getting funky? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Out here jamming, building some cat cans. Dang, dude. Got you good. Where's Croha? Your bags didn't go. Cro oh, they, uh... Kyle. They ran to Home Depot. Somewhere? Oh, okay. Him and Emilio did. Well, guys, Kyle and Emilio are out uh, picking up some stuff. Um, but we made it. It's good to see uh, Wyatt. And uh, we appreciate all your encouraging words and uh, pushing us on throughout the, the wildness. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it there. Call it pretty good for a video. We made it to Florida though. I'm gonna go jump in this pool and uh, get busy working on another upload. So thanks for watching guys. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Get ready for the mullets because it's gonna be on. Get on cleavesmcfarland.com and uh, get yours today. All right. Here they are. It was uh, pretty good. <laughs> what are you doing to hurt? Nothing. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, we don't, we don't talk about this. I'm sure you had to talk about it a lot already. All right, guys, we were feeling pretty festive. So we went ahead and made some super rad PFI Speed sweatshirts for the holidays. So jump on PFISpeed.com today and pick yours up. All right, guys, thanks a bunch, and we way appreciate you watching.